But soon as I put that relaxer on my head, that was it for my scalp. That was it for my scalp. My scalp was burn up. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is marissa make sure to like comment share and subscribe while at it don't forget to turn on your post notification as well also follow your girl on instagram it will be like right here so without further ado let's get into this video so in today's video don't mind my hair <laughs> i'm lazy i'm lazy when it comes to my hair i just washed it and i let it to ear dry this is it. This is the reality of it right now. So in today's video, I'll be answering a lot of you guys questions. I love you guys leave a, like a million questions and I just want to respond to it as quickly as I can. So I'll just be answering a few of the most popular questions that I get. So I have my my handy dandy note okay so the first question that i got was how did i recover from over processed relax here well let me tell you guys i'm still recovering as you guys can see the ends of my hair is just little thin but it's not you know not splitting but it's just all of this grown out and this is like the healthy side of my relax here and these ends like about like so much is over processed still but i am still chopping it off um how i recover from over processed relax here is just by doing my protein treatment deep conditioning drinking a lot of water because back then i never used to even drink water i literally just used to drink soda every single day and juice i deep condition my hair once a week and I did my protein treatment once a month and I trim every time I get a relaxer I moisturize and seal as needed so that's how I'm slowly recovering from over process relax here how often do I flat iron my hair well I flat iron my hair as needed like when I'm going out I will flat iron my hair and I'm a stay-at-home mom so I don't go out like at all once a month, probably I will flat iron or once in a in three months. <laughs> like depends on when I'm actually like going out and I want to look nice or whatnot. I flat iron my hair. So yeah, I don't really use heat on my hair. And you shouldn't as well. So I think, I think once you use a good heat protectant, you should be fine. <laughs> and once you don't overdo it like overdo it like every single day please don't flat iron your hair every day please okay the next question is why do i shampoo before deep conditioner i tried the deep conditioner first then shampoo after but i realized that it makes sense <laughs> like i tried i mean to me for my hair it make it don't make sense because i want a deep condition on a clean scalp so the deep conditioner can hold on on the strands like if that makes sense because the hair is so clean then putting the deep conditioner on dirty greasy hair that's a build up with how many days of now washing and residue and what's not so i prefer to shampoo first then deep condition after so let me know down below what you guys do okay the next question is what is my hair goal like my length the length that i want is waist length or tailbone length yeah like waist length like going to my butt yeah that's the length i want my hair to be at yeah that's my hair goal like the next question is how do i deal with two different textures this is for when you stretch and relax or for me i can't even deal with it so you know what i do i deep condition moisturize and seal as needed and i just braid my hair up basically i just do protective style because like i said earlier i don't go anywhere so i don't need to be doing my hair i only do my hair when i have to turn on this camera <laughs> you don't want to see me on a regular daily basis how my hair be so i just braid it in two braids or four braids like braid the front 
spray it the back and put it up in one and yeah that's how i deal with my two different textures because i don't want to comb it i want to no ma'am no ma'am so that's how i deal with my two different textures i don't touch it period only when i have to wash my hair moisturize and seal my hair and that's basically it and you shouldn't touch your hair when you have two different textures because well you shouldn't touch it as much because you don't want your hair to break and snap can i recommend a good hair relaxer well i can't recommend a hair relaxer because i haven't tried it all <laughs> and this is just what works for me because your hair probably might be different from my hair so i can't tell you what works best but for my hair i like optimum so optimum have a feel me so that's what i use i use dark and lovely already mm, mm -mm, i don't know i like it but you know i still gone back to optimum i try the ors the, oh, the, the relaxer oh my gosh everyone i'm seeing on youtube that's using olive oil or ors relaxer for my head that's what i'm saying everyone here and head is different because when i use i use the ors once in my life and when i use that i don't know what the hell i bought i don't know what i bought if i bought super or what i don't know but soon as i put that relaxer on my head that was it for my scalp that was it for my scalp. My scalp was burnt up, burnt, crisp. Like my edges were scorched and I never, but the nice thing about ORS, right? My hair, my hair actually feel like so flowy and like, it feel like a light and flowy my hair. But my scalp was done. My scalp was done. My scalp was finished. So that's why I never use back ORS. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't even expect. I don't know. But I used that once and it was. I didn't have a good experience. So I just stick to my optimum. And that's all I use. Optimum. What products do I use? I have a video for that. I'll link it down below. I basically use all of Cream of Nature line. I'm trying to like switch out. I use Aussie as well. All of Aussie line as well. So yeah, you don't ever want your hair to get comfortable with like one product. So you just want to like interchange with like different stuff. Well, not too much, not to be a product junkie. So I just get like two different types of products. The Cream of Nature and Aussie, as you guys can see right in the background there. And sometimes my husband buy products as well when he's out and about because he know i like hair products so yeah do i relax the front first or the back first the reason why i relax the back of my hair is because the back is more coarser than the front so you would want to relax the harder tougher part the the tighter texture part first so that can process before you go to the softer side if that makes sense so i always start the back first then do the front last so yeah how often do i do protein treatment i only do protein treatment like once a month yeah sometimes once every two months or yeah basically yeah once a month once two months i don't go longer than that though every month you want your hair to have the protein treatment so i use apogee or i use egg and mayo well this this is the last question. Someone asked me, should I do relax keratin treatment or heat train? I can tell you like for me on my hair. Let me tell you for my hair. I would relax for my hair, but I can't tell you what do with your hair. But for my hair, I relax because heat train, oh hell no. I would advise no one to do no heat train. Cause with heat train, literally your hair is your hair is just dead. Basically, your hair is just like fried and dead. That's why it's straight. Heat train. Mm -mm. I wouldn't recommend no one to heat train but you know your hair is your hair you know that's what people don't understand your hair is your hair i can only tell you what about my hair i would advise the keratin if you're already natural but you want your hair to be straight i would advise you to use the keratin because the keratin is just like it's not permanent basically you just your hair is straight and then you go wash it out and you go back to like curly or natural so i would advise you try out the curtain and then 
you know if you don't like it then you could go relax because once you relax your hair that's it that's it you could only grow it out and cut it off and then now as you relax it can't revert so i would advise you to do curtain first and if you like it then you can switch to relaxer but i don't want you to do the heat train no ma'am no ma'am this is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed this little q a if you guys have any more questions head over to my instagram it'll be like right here if you guys have any question any question let me know also don't forget to subscribe like and comment turn on your post notification and until next time guys bye guys